Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new game, Climate Sky is the Limit. Now this is a game that I've been keeping an eye on for quite a while. It's a unique kind of survival simulator game. Um, and it's a little bit different what I've seen in some screenshots and stuff. So I've been really excited to try this. And luckily, uh, a big thank you to the publisher, Art Game Studio SA, for sending us an early access key to showcase this game early for you guys. Uh, now, the release date will be the 21st of November 2022. So a little bit about this game. Uh, Climber Sky the Limit is a game with a unique mixture of survival and simulation. As a player, you are a climber who takes up the most difficult and dangerous peaks on Earth. To succeed, you need to plan your journey carefully by preparing appropriate equipment choosing a suitable trail, facing extreme weather conditions and surviving. Conquer your limits and overcome your fears to reach the sky. So I will put a link to the game down below in the description for their page on Steam. Uh, they also have made some other games like uh, WW2 Bunker Simulator, Alchemist the Potion Monger. Uh, so they have done some other stuff if you've tried their work. Okay, so what we're going to do today is the tutorial mountain first. Uh, if you guys enjoy this, let me know in the comments down below. And if we want to do more, we will continue through these mountains. So look, we've got some of the biggest mountains in the world. Everest is the one that we all want to climb, isn't it? But we're going to start with our tutorial mountain 8000. Uh, so the contract is this. Uh, we get obviously leaderboards, so times reached without oxygen. So it's kind of like you can time yourself and go on the leaderboards as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the starting camp is where you start your climb, which is here, and it's going to tell you what you're going to need to do to get up. Uh, so there's flat rock edges, uh, ice slopes, icy walls, ice shelf and possible gaps, ice climbing. Uh, it's telling us down here what we're going to require to carry with ourselves. I mean, we've got a, lug, a, a ladder all the way up there. Jesus. Uh, even though it is a small ladder. Uh, we're going to need, obviously, some ropes, a uh, chest trousers some chocolate bars obviously this is very simple so we've only got one sponsor for this one and it's condor sponsor because we have no prestige we've not done nothing yet have we look here we go no prestige we do have some starting money but these guys will give us money for this climb as well so down below here are required items we need to drag across but look at all the different items we have different kind of shoes uh different foods how cool is this we can carry tents with us sleeping bags uh so yeah this is pretty cool uh so let's just start with what it wants us to do for this Apparently I have to drag seven across because we can't just pick a number. Uh, so that's five, six. And you can always take more than what they require, I'd imagine. I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't complain as long as you can fit it in. Uh, we need to take a chest. I need two rope. Uh, what's this? An ice screw. How many of them? We need four of these. Okay, so that's four of them. Uh, I need one ladder. And I think that yellow dot means we've got everything that is required. But it says three out of six here. One, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. I've got five. So with these ice screws, I'm not going to need anything else. No ice axes or anything. This is by missing items. I don't think I'm missing anything. Okay, so we can go to the next page then. Uh, okay, so here is our clothes. There we go. We can put our basic jacket and basic trousers on for now. I've got no shoes. What the hell are we going to do about that? Uh, so you can see mental condition, food, body temperatures. There's lots here that we're going to be needing to look at as we go up mountains. Okay, backpack balance. Okay, great. The backpack space is divided into three parts. The indicator shows the current center of gravity and the item's position in the center of gravity. Changes depending on the weight and arrangement of the item in the backpack. The closer the indicator is the center, the better the balance, and it does not add to unbalance the backpack effect. Okay, here we go. So the heaviest thing here is going to be this ladder, isn't it? Oh. I would take less space that are lightweight, such as food and raining items. They can be connected in the same backpack slot. Okay. So we've got a ladder in. There's no exact middle. So it's a little bit over to one side. And these can stack, right? Yeah. So what we'll try and do with all the food and stuff is just to rebalance. Uh, and technically, we already are balanced. Um, how heavy is the rope? Whoa, that rope is heavy. Okay. We do that. And we put the other rope down in this corner. There you go. We're pretty balanced. Uh, 
We only need four of these, but I've got five. So what I'll do, I'll put the fifth one there. There's four chocolate bars already there. I mean, these chocolate bars aren't going to weigh very much, are they? I mean, three and four. Are they extra slots on the side? They are, so we can put things on the side. Right, how much does that change? Oh, not much. So that actually could be handy, actually. And we can stack them as well. We'll keep one in. You know what we could do is put that up and we can move that ladder up. I mean, that's pretty center, right? I mean, the chocolate bar could go down here. Suppose. Yeah, look, I think that's pretty good. Okay, the tour room out and then we already know what we got to do. So let's start our expedition. Okay, so here we go. We're in the game now. So controls, uh, obviously this is going to tell us everything as we go along. WASD, jump for space. There we go. Uh, okay, so the triangle icons and distance change in relation to the player that the route stage is moving towards them helps to navigate the predetermined route. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do then is uh, come down here. Get rid of you because you won't jump, I've realized. Okay, maybe we need to go on these rocks first. For some reason, the buttons don't work when the tutorial's actually up. Okay, findable items. Sometimes on your way to the summit, you need a checkpoint uh, to campsites. You can find additional items that help you. Okay, again can't pick up that unless I get rid of uh, the tutorial box. Hopefully that's something that they'll fix before release because that is bloody annoying. So we've got another energy bar, which is cool. Let's keep on rolling then. Risk balance. When at the risk counter is at the maximum value, you should react quickly by pressing E or Q. Okay, where's that? Where's the balance counter? To keep the balance and avoid a full slip, cause energy loss, parameters and slip. Alrighty, I think. Okay, survival actions. Duration, stamina, one. Climbing's easy. Okay, so we're going to lose a lot of stamina for different things. Okay. But right now, we're literally just going up here. Okay, terrain difficulty. When left alt is used, points will appear that can color indicate a different slope of near the terrain near the player, as well as additional icons telling you, for example, about the need to attach rope. Color slope angle, green, yellow, red, black. Okay. But I can't press the button until that's gone. So there we go. So we already know that this is a medium. Okay, so do I need some rope? Press left mouse button to attach rope to an anchor point. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming then I need to put anchor points down first, right? No. Not here we don't. We can just get up. What's this? Press F to use. What did I just use? There are 14 mountains on Earth, the height of which is over 8,000 meters above sea level. Ten of them are located in the Himalayas and four in the Karakoram. All 14 mountains are included to the crown of the Himalayans and the Koko Karam. To date, only about 50 people have won the crown. Oh, wow. To be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of cold in real life, so I'm not sure that I'd be able to do this. Right, so obviously we should see some trigger points here. Nope. Uh, what if I just put you down? Whoa, yeah, we just skidded all the way down there. So clearly we need to use some of these somehow. Do I get you into the ground? Ah, uh, do I have to use the rocks maybe? I suppose there's no right or wrong way to get up. Hmm. 
Not that way, obviously. Why did I need to press E? Oh, that's for balance. Okay. Come on, sir. We can climb up this. That was definitely the way, wasn't it? Oh, ah. That was the way. Okay. Just wasted a load of energy. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, we're doing quite good on everything. Let's have an energy bar. And uh, we can now start climbing our rocks. What gets me is those guys that do like the mountain climbing uh, for fun and they, they do it without like safety ropes and stuff. The guys are nutters. Okay, for some reason I can't get up this one rock. There we go. Let's see what this has to say to us. Italian Reinhold Mensur is the first man in history who in 1986, after 16 years, won the crown of the Himalayas and the uh, Karakoram. Climbing all the peaks without oxygen. A, late, a year later, this feat was repeated by the Polish climber Jerry uh, Kuzak in just eight years. So far, the record for the speed of climbing 14 peaks belongs to the Korean Kim Chang Ho, who did it in seven years, 10 months, and six days. Wow. In 2010, the Spaniard uh, Edern Pazaban became the first woman to climb all 14. Nice. Okay, so clearly we're still just uh, climbing rocket. Uh, I'm assuming that's the way we got to go here, is it? Approach the rock, press F where points on the wall, left click two points on the wall, close as possible. For the character's hands. Ah, okay. Pull up repeat process until you reach the top of the wall. Selecting two difficult red climb points is associated with a higher cost of action. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of that. So double F. I don't see any double F. What if I hold up? Oh, is this the wall we're climbing? Then what do I press? F? Uh, I see now, and then we're going to need to drag ourselves across, probably. I mean, this is pretty cool. To use the backpack, maybe block when characters in the dangerous areas. Okay, so there's things that we probably can't do. Got no choice but to go into the orange here a little bit. Press F to stop climbing. A bit worried there that we might fall down. Okay, so we did that. Let's have a uh, another chocolate bar there. Get some stamina back. Mentally, we, uh, we seem a bit fatigued. Ladder unfolding. Okay, enter the inventory and drag the ladder icon to the empty slot. Then confirm its position. Okay, where is my mouse so I can get rid of you? That really does have to change. Okay, so we can drag this out. Yeah, excuse me. What has just happened?
the amazing ad, I just don't really get why I can't use it. To be fair, I'm a bit scared of losing it now. Is there any way I can bring back up the tutorial? Uh, doesn't seem like it, does it? I mean, why is this out? This must be out for a reason. Altitude sickness. Ooh. Oh, do we have to put it into here? That would make sense, right, wouldn't it? And then press 5. There. Okay, so it's like one place it can go. Uh, oh. Well, hang on. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I've got to counterbalance, do I? As well as move forward. Oh, Jesus. I mean, luckily, this was the heaviest thing in my backpack. Okay, use these items attached to the rope. Rocks, hook, ice, ice screw, snow, pick it. Okay. We'll just get rid of you. So we're climbing uh, this bad boy, I suppose, then. So let's get some of these pickets out. Is that what we need to do? Okay, these go into the snow. Okay, then what do I connect my rope to it? Okay, and then we can put the next one up. How high can we get it to go? About as high as he can reach, I assume. And then we want our rope. I'm assuming I need another one. Terrain ice. Some sections of the route may be covered with ice. Entering such an area makes it difficult to move and adds an ice effect. The ice effect reduces the maximum gradient of the slope. They can be navigated about sliding 60 to 30 degrees. Use rigging. Okay, well, I'm assuming that means it still wants me to use one of these, right? Uh, are we going that way? Okay, so bit treacherous now is it I've got two of these left It doesn't show up past like this point. Well, I suppose the rigging will save me from sliding off, right? We're very cold now. We do need to get a wiggle on, I think. Maha, I see. Why can't I get up this last little bit? Really? I think I'm gonna die of frozen burn here. Are you kidding me? Right, we died. Can I retain these? Uh, no, whoa! I have to pick up.
Oh, look, there's rope here. That is a negative, by the way. Okay, so we can pick up this one. Uh, excuse me, or is it only the rope? Ah. Okay, we've got rope to here. No, it's not making much sense. I didn't end the rope. How do we end the rope? So I've now taken the rope off me. The uh, okay. Once we get into it, we'll be okay. Picking up items, so we can actually pick up those items again. But I think it was just absolutely stupid what I just done. That was me trying to... Right. Okay, so what I think you're supposed to do... Now we've got this point. No, I can't seem to pick these up again. Even though I did just say pick up holding F. I'm assuming it's the rope. Okay, let's just uh, get on with it. Let's not be stupid. Obviously, I can pick up that rope. No, apparently I can't. Now that we're on that line, we should be able to pick up that line, though. That's what I thought. I don't know how this ice climbing works. Clearly, I'm terrible at it. So, can I pick up this line? And oh, no, I picked up all the rope. Okay, I see. I get you now. Okay, anyways, let's see what this has to say. In the 1950s, 8,000 began to conquer the summits. Oh, 8,000ers. What? Began to conquer the summits retreats to summer camps. British, Italian, Swiss, French, Italians, Americans, Nepalese, New Zealanders, Japanese, and Germans. The golden era of Polish Himalayan mountaineering began in the 1980s. From that time till today, as many as 10 out of 14 8,000ers uh, were climbed for the first time by Poles in winter. Okay. Do I have an ice axe? Go to the wall, press F to start ice axe climbing. But I thought we didn't buy any. Alright. Okay, it moves a lot faster than I was expecting it to move. No. Okay, so Q keeps you in. It digs it back in. Oh, there's an avalanche. Okay, I think we've got to be careful of stamina. Does he regain it? I'm just looking at the top there. It doesn't seem to be the case. Can I eat a chocolate bar? Not currently where we are. Uh, 
We made the summit. No, no, no. What the hell are we doing? I can't even press F to reach the summit. There we go. Congratulations, you reached the summit in one day, eight hours and 53 minutes, which is a new record. Okay, guys, so that is the tutorial kind of out of the way. Uh, we we'll, could go on to uh, Manslu. It has got uh, 1, 000, uh, 156 more meters, I'm assuming this is what it is, or feet uh, higher. So let me know, or maybe that's just what the numbers are, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you'd like me to take on this challenge we could have a look at it and, you know so th these ones actually have different routes as well so you can go this way if you wish or you can go this way this is what will happen now sometimes there's a more direct route um but it takes up more stamina or that you know we can go this way. It might take longer these are the things that we gotta look out for so we've got rope fixing climbing we're gonna need a couple of ladders by the looks of things then we've got to climb some stones, ice, exposed area. Pretty cool, isn't it? There's, there's so much until uh, we reach that summit. So let me know in the comments down below. Is this something that you'd like to continue to see? I would quite like to do some more, so uh, hopefully you guys do too. Uh, subscribe if you are new, and uh, make sure you hit that like button. It means a lot, so thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.